What's up, YouTube streamers? I'm BBXH, streamer and esports caster. Today, I have an intro tutorial for you for Stream Elements. I'm going to show you the features of the platform and show you how easy it is for you to start streaming today. Below are some links for advanced guides to watch after this one as well. Let's get started. First, you're gonna connect with YouTube. So we're gonna click that button right there. It's going to pull up our Google accounts. We're gonna go ahead and sign in to our Google account. Next, it's going to ask us to connect our YouTube. So we're going to connect that as well. You do need to connect both accounts. And you'll see it pulls up a prompt here for you to allow. So we're gonna go ahead and click allow. That's what signs us in and syncs stream elements with your YouTube account. So as you can see now, it's pulled up my dashboard. First things first, most important is you need to enter your PayPal email. This is what's going to allow your tippers to donate to you and that money to come into your PayPal account. So I can't stress enough that this should be the first thing that you do. Second thing I suggest you do is join the Discord server for Stream Elements. You'll have all the Stream Elements staff ready, readily available to you to help you with any questions that you have or issues that you may run into. And you can also connect with other streamers who use Stream Elements like myself. Third thing is that you'll want to connect your bot to your channel and make it a moderator. So I'll click join chat to do that and you can see it pops up a box and tells you exactly how to add it as a moderator. There we go. Other information on your das dashboard is you can see subscribers, sponsors, super chats, and tips. Below this will be a graph chart of that same information and then on the very bottom it has a live feed of those recent events. So it'll show you who's recently subscribed, who's recently tipped, and so on. Next, let's talk about overlays. The overlays are my favorite part of Stream Elements because they are cloud-based, they're one source, and you can launch them from anywhere. So as a streamer that travels, I sometimes use a desktop, I sometimes use a laptop, and so this prevents me from having to create the same exact overlay twice on each computer because now I can just do it all on one in the Stream Elements website, and then all I have to do is pull a URL uh, into the OBS, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later how that's done. It's super simple. So for the overlays, you can either create your own from scratch or you can use the ready to use Stream Elements super themes, which are awesome. They're ready to go for when you're ready to start streaming. Let's go into the themes gallery here. So these super themes are a package of five ready to use stream customizable overlay for every part of your stream. So we have a ton of different ones for different games or just general ones with different color themes, whatever is to your liking. So let's click the llama one because a lot of people are into Fortnite right now and let's say that that's what I'm going to stream. So as you can see here, these are the five different overlays. The first one here is a great one for the gameplay. It's got the gameplay, it's got the camera. Next one, I might use this if I just kind of want to chat with uh, the viewers a little bit and it's just a camera on me. The third one is for when you're getting ready to start your stream, you can throw a timer up there so people know, okay, they're gonna be on camera or the gameplay is going to start in this many minutes. The third one is the be right back. So when you need to go get yourself a snack or whatever it may be, you can throw this overlay up. And the last one is the stream ended one. So people know, okay, I'm done, I'm out, see you later. So let's say that I wanna use this one. I'm gonna name it, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Fortnite OP. And then we're gonna choose the overlay. So you'll see it pulls up all of these unique URLs. These are all the URLs that you're going to use to get the overlay from Stream Elements to OBS. These are all in your My Overlays tab. So you can just go right into it there and they'll always be there for you. So as you can see, it's now pulled in these five Llama animated super themes into my overlays. And then you can also see on top here that I have my personal overlays. So like I said, you can create your own overlays from scratch by clicking create blank overlay right there. And there's also an overlay manager guide linked below in the description if that's what you choose to do. So you'll see that there's four buttons on every overlay. There's one to launch it, edit it, remove it, and duplicate it. So let's go ahead and click the launch button. This is going to give us a unique overlay URL for this one right here. So this is the one I've used, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that link. Let's minimize it. I'm gonna pull my OBS over here for you guys. Whoa, I'm here for infinity. So now you guys can see exactly how I do it. You can use OBS or any streaming software that has browser source capabilities. I highly recommend OBS. This is what I've used for two years now. So on this scene, I'm gonna go ahead and click to add. It's called browser, browser source, they're the same thing. So I'm gonna click that. We'll call this one Fortnite Overlay. All right, and as you can see, the first thing on here is the URL box. I'm just gonna paste that URL right in there. I'm gonna add 
my streaming dimensions to this so everything lines up. And then I would highly recommend on you, the bottom, you scroll down and select the shutdown source when not visible. What this will do, this is going to eliminate the alerts from repeating when you have multiple overlays, which if you use all five of those super theme overlays, that'll happen. So we'll click OK right there. And you should see, there we go. We have our Fortnite overlay on there just like that. And then of course you can go in and adjust the cam box to fit in there like so. All right, let's go back to our stream elements page here. And next I'm gonna talk to you guys about tipping. So let's go into the tipping section right here. So you can see, once again, I cannot stress enough, add in your PayPal email. This is going to get those tippers donations to you, and that way you have it connected right away. Another thing that I want to point out is the tipping preset. So what this is, is this is a preset amount that makes it super easy for tippers. So they can either type in the amount that they want to donate to you, or they can select your preset amount. So for example, we have $3.33. You can do $4.20. You can do $69, $6.90, whatever you want to do. And this is guaranteed to bring in more tips for you, which is great all around. The last part of the tipping page that I want to point out to you guys is on the bottom right. You can see where it shows open my page. If you click that link, it'll bring up your donation page. So what I would highly suggest is you take that link and you put it in your video description box. So that way the tippers can just click right on it to go in to your donations. And right now it's set up for PayPal, but we do have some other payment forms coming in the future. Let's move on to the next section. All right, next, let's talk about the chatbot a little bit. That's what's right here. You have modules. These can add different things. For example, maybe live tweets. So whenever you tweet something out, it shows up in your chat feed when you're live. Chat commands. These are something that your viewers can use to get information on their own. So maybe they can find out what game you're playing or you can set it to show them how long you've been streaming for if they use that command. And then there's also timers for chat as well. So all of these are easily accessible for you. All right, guys, thank you so very much for tuning into this intro tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed. And remember, there are other links below for guides for using Stream Elements as well. Or you can also, again, join that Stream Elements Discord, which I highly recommend to you guys. Thank you again for tuning in. See you guys later. Bye.